Welcome back to my channel for a short iPhone episode. Not something you've seen that often on my channel, but I want to talk about the new iPhone 17 Pro Max more intensely in the next weeks and months because I think the camera application is interesting now. I think it takes really good photos and I will come back to that topic from time to time. But this video is about something totally different. And uh, I typically do refuse when I set up this phone at the very beginning, freshly out of box, to share data with Apple. And uh, I also did it when I set up this phone, but then I found something in the settings which really made me speechless. And this is what this video is all about. Let's kick it off. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do so. Subscribe, hit the notification bell and support my work. Many thanks for that. All right. The iPhone has been for a while my digital companion. I think I started with the very first iPhone, which I bought in New York because it was earlier available there. And I had to jailbreak it to make it work for a German SIM card. It was a very interesting process and pretty risky back then. Now, the iPhone has a lot of settings. If you look into the settings, there are many, many settings, menus, submenus, sub submenus, switches, things you can activate and deactivate. And uh, it became much more complicated over time. When I think back about Steve Jobs' mission, his vision, when he said it should be an intuitively operationable device, I think we moved away from that a long time ago. But anyway, when you set up an iPhone freshly from scratch, out of the box, there is always a question coming up from Apple whether you are willing to share your data, anonymized of course, for improving Apple Analytics. Let me quickly show you. So this is a new iPhone 17 Pro Max and I'm currently setting it up freshly out of box. So it says here, data privacy, this icon appears when an Apple feature asks to use your personal information. And uh, then it gives you a little bit of a disclaimer that your data will not be abused and all of that. Let's go to continue. So I'm finally here in the start screen, signing in, created an iCloud account, update your phone automatically. Yes, continue, location services, turn on. And here we go. This is the interesting screen I wanted to show. Look at that. Analytics, help Apple improve its products and services, including Siri and other intelligent features, blah, blah, blah. And here I decide because I'm not willing to share any data at all with Apple, don't share. Let's now go back into the menu. All right, so a moment ago when I set up this phone, Apple asked me if I would be okay to share my data on anonymized basis, of course, for improving the analytics. And my answer was a firm, clear no, I don't want that. And I refused to accept it. And uh, in the settings, I now made it a habit to always check is there anything else I'm sharing with Apple? Although I said from scratch, I don't want it. They developed the habit over the years to nevertheless steal your data always, you know, without attaching it to your email account or to your iCloud account and so on. That's what they say. And the section where you typically look for these type of data sharings going on is in privacy and security. And uh, that's definitely the section where you would assume you can activate or deactivate your generosity to share data with Apple. But this time they made it much smarter. And although I said no to data sharing for their analytics improvement, they did hide another switch under the search section. Have a look here. It's called help Apple improve search. So what in my clear and firm no, they did not understand because this feature Although I said no when I set up the phone, it's activated by default. Let's quickly read what it is doing. Help improve search by allowing Apple to store the searches you enter into Safari, Siri and Spotlight in a way that is not linked to you. Thank you very much for that last statement. Searches include lookups of general knowledge and requests to do things like play music and get directions. Let's have a more detailed look what they actually do here. If you look into that and I leave it up to you because if you have an iPhone, you have that here anyway on your phone and can read through it. But there is a lot 
which is here flagged as being shared, although on anonymous basis. So let's have a quick look. When you use lookup, visual lookup, visual intelligence, you type something in search, in Safari search, you look up images in messages. When you invoke Spotlight, which is the basic search engine we have on Apple devices, limited information, but will be sent to Apple to provide up-to-date suggestions. And although it's not identifying me, it's a lot what they actually learn about me on, I repeat myself, anonymous basis. Topics of interest, for example, cooking or football, your search queries, and so on, and so on. There is a lot contained here, which for legal reasons, they have to make the user aware. But what I find really unacceptable is that although I said no at the beginning, and I made it very clear with my tap on the screen that I don't want to share any data, anything out of my privacy with Apple for improving the analytics, they nevertheless activated here in the search section a feature which is actually to improve the analytics based on my data. So my recommendation to you is if you care about your privacy, if you said no when you set up the phone, you definitely need to say no also here, so deactivate it. All right, that's it. That's all I wanted to say and show this feature here deactivate it under all circumstances if you care about your private data. And if you liked that video, don't forget to drop me your thumbs up. Stay tuned on my channel. There's always more to come. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and healthy. And of course, peace out.